going to change out this Oregon style um, bar tip that has a single rivet in it. Now, I've never done this before, but I have watched some videos. Uh, this one here, the, the sprocket in it actually seems pretty good, but it's loose. So I don't know. It looks like somebody has replaced this before. That rivet's mushroomed out like it's been peened with a hammer. But it's a bit loose, um, so I'm not really uh, comfortable with using a, a chainsaw bar with a loose tip like that. So we're going to change it out. So here I've got my blocks of wood, and I have a hole drilled in one of them. And my hope is to drive the rivet down through the hole. Here I've got a punch and a set of vice grips <clears throat> to hold the punch with. Uh, and I can kind of keep my hand out of the way. I don't know if you ever hit yourself with a ball peen hammer, um, but it does not feel good. So here's a little trick. And full disclosure, um, like I said, this is my first time doing it. I searched around on YouTube and I seen uh, Buck and Billy Ray. He's a chainsaw guy here in Canada. And this is what he was doing. He was doing this exact same uh, process but uh, the funny thing is is he hit this thing twice and it went right through I'm not really having that luck and uh, you know as a matter of fact look at that that tip bent the thing right out I was hoping to save this actually and reuse it but that's not really looking possible now that this is all bent here I am now trying to flatten it back out and now that you know, I'm, I'm doing a voiceover on this and I'm watching what I'm doing. I'm not really quite sure what I was thinking there. Anyhow, I gave up on the uh, on the punch and the hammer and just went straight to the drill. And that definitely gave us the results that I was looking for. Just uh, got to be careful to pick the right size drill bit. Um, because there's actually a little hole that goes through the, the bar itself. You wouldn't really want to enlarge that. So there's that. That was a perfectly good tip until I pounded the hell out of it and basically destroyed it. So now it's garbage. Anyway, here we are. Still in good shape. Nice bar. Just a wobbly tip. A little bit of corrosion and dirt in there. So I took it up to a wire wheel and uh, cleaned it up. And here you go. All nice and shiny and clean. Already for the new bar tip that I bought. Here, I guess I decided I was gonna put some oil on it. I'm not sure if it was necessary or, you know, definitely wasn't gonna hurt it. Seemed like a good idea at the time. And I bought this uh, bar tip off of, uh, not Amazon. You probably could buy them on Amazon. I got it on eBay. It's aftermarket, definitely made uh, in China. No name. Not sure if it's great quality. If you're a professional, you know, tree worker or you know, forestry guy, you're probably not gonna be buying these crappy stuff off of uh, eBay like me. But I'm just kind of a hobbyist, and you know, I'd be surprised if I use this bar twenty times. You know, in my life. <clears throat> So here you are, nice bar tip, and it's kind of weird, it has a number on it, 063, I know that's the gauge of chain it can accept, so um, this bar has a rail that will accept a, an 058 chain, hopefully that 063 means that it'll take a chain up to 063, but will also be suitable for 058, I'm assuming that's the case. There we go, just slides back into the slot. And then see you got that hole there, you put a new rivet in it. And that uh, bar tip that I bought comes with uh, two extra rivets. There it is right there, rivet. And you want, an, you know, something solid like a piece of steel like I got here, it's kind of the backside of my vise, works as an anvil. If you had an anvil, that would be great. Put it down flat and then uh, here I'm using Wrong tool for the job, but it's going to do the trick. It's a carpenter's hammer. <clears throat> really, you'd want like a, you know, 
big ball peen hammer or something like that. And you just uh, hammer it flat right on the uh, right on the rivet. Eh, nice and tight now. Checking it out. See? It's not the prettiest. If you had like an actual, you know, punch machine or something like that, it would probably flatten it out real nice. It would look a little bit better, but, uh, you know, this is definitely going to do the trick. Just for good measure, the other side there, and uh, yeah, there we have it. We were successful. Almost looked like it. I was, almost looked like I knew what I was doing. Thanks for watching. Bye.